previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. People who do this a lot have larger vocabularies. What do you think the answer is? Uh, is it reading? It is not reading, but I'll give you a hint. It's something I do, do, do a lot. Right? Yes! <laughs> well, that's probably why I'm so smart, then. <laughs> We're both f***ing geniuses. Don't do it on the air, though. <laughs> I won't do it on the air. It's time for Your Mom Must Be So Proud. Morons. Dummy. Idiot. Bull. I'm not a smart man. With Beth and Dave in the morning on Light 98.7. Yeah, today's moron comes to us from Little Rock, Arkansas. A potentially romantic situation. What happened? Yeah, it turned bad for a 63-year-old woman. Apparently, she met a nice guy during the uh-huh. day, and they agreed to go to dinner that night. Okay. So, the date took place at the China Plus Buffet. Stop right there. <laughs> okay. Red flag number one. Your date takes you to the China Plus Buffet on your first date. This is what we talked about earlier with the engagement. Setting the bar. A little low Beth, there. This could be the garden spot of Little Rock, Arkansas, for all you know. I guess it could be in Little Rock, Arkansas. But go <laughs> ahead. It must have gone so well. What happened? So the couple had met earlier today. They go to the China Plus Buffet. Uh-huh. The woman was eating a nice meal with her date. All ha- she could eat. Having a nice conversation when two armed people entered the restaurant <gasps> and demanded money. And her date protected her, right, Dave? Now, the date got up and pulled his own gun before what? demanding more money from the restaurant. And then the trio of robbers all fled with an undisclosed amount of cash. <laughs> so I don't know if he was. So basically, she was his alibi. It was an alibi date. Sounded like it. And do you think it was certain that this whole thing was planned? Or maybe he saw the two robbers and he thought, hey, this is a great opportunity for me right here. They're better looking than my date. I'm going to go with them. Beth and Dave in the morning. I'm going to get that gun of mine, and I'm going to change you from a rooster to a hen with one shot. On Light 98.7. Light 98. That's Pink with Beth and Dave in the morning on Light 98.7. And here's the clip with Pink talking about her current relationship with her husband. I mean, I stabbed Carrie's tires once, but I've never cut him. I can say my previous relationships were very dysfunctional, but this one is not. This one is not dysfunctional, and she He's stabbing his tires? It was his tires. Beth, you can't characterize this relationship as functional if you're stabbing your partner's tires. She had a healthy <laughs> and non-physical way of expressing her frustration. Not physical! She stabbed his tires, for crying out loud. She can afford to give him new tires. <laughs> Wow. Do people do this in functional relationships? That's all I'm asking. I agree with you. Stabbing his tires? You think that's crazy? Yeah, I think it's crazy. What would she do if he cheated on him? (laughs) Well, I don't think you'd ever find his body to know. That's all I'm saying. Some of the top costumes for couples include the mustard and ketchup, by the way. Not doing that. Men typically dress as the ketchup while women are the mustard. I don't know why that is. I don't know, but I could tell you right now, if we were going to go as ketchup and mustard, I would definitely be the ketchup. Right. No way would I be the mustard. Uh, Mike and Sully. How about that? So that's being written in uh, to many message boards. As From a, Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, potential couples costume, Mike and Sully. Mr. Wazowski. How about uh, January and July? What? Like, you, you dress, we dress up as months. Oh, Mike, we do this right now. <laughs> you, You're dressed in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. Yes. I have on, and I am not exaggerating, <laughs> jeans, a t-shirt, a sweater, a jacket, and I have a blanket over my shoulder. Right, well, We're already dressed as this. That's a good idea, then. Uh, what are we going to do? Here All it right, is. All right, you guys need to let us know, what should our Halloween costume be? We have two or three different things we're supposed to dress up for. I can make them, so, you know, you can include that in your consideration, Your are my craftiness. Right. A bar of soap and bubbles. Ah. Now, how would you do the bubbles? Bubbles, you would take a bunch of balloons, tie them together. That's a good idea. Talking about dashboards we don't understand this morning, and Beth was joking earlier that her dashboard tells her she's stupid. How about my wife's vehicle? I was driving down the Mass Pike two weeks ago, and it told me to pull into the next rest area and get a cup of coffee <laughs> because I've been driving too long. Did it suggest you pick up a burger and fries, too, because you were looking <laughs> no. a little peckish? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it did say... Pull in the next service area, take a break. Did you pay attention? No. (laughs) Previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. So we got this wedding crasher disturbing the guests, getting free drinks. What do we do about her? Bust her or just let it go? I'd have more fun with it. I would contact her and say, I didn't realize you were there. I need your address to send a thank you card for your gift. (laughs) I think I'd send her a bill for everything she drank. (laughs) Since you're a member of the family now, can we ask you for a loan? (laughs) (laughs) Beth and Dave, weekday mornings on Light 98.7.